Earlier this year, 30-year-old Claudia Castillo faced the prospect of losing one of her lungs because of severe damage from tuberculosis. Instead, researchers in Barcelona opened a new chapter in regenerative medicine. First, they scrubbed away the cells from the windpipe of a woman who had recently died and replaced them with Castillo's own stem cells, taken from her hip. Then, the re-engineered windpipe was used to replace the damaged segment so that her lung could function normally. Es un largo, pero... That was five months ago, and Claudia says she's doing fine. They was able to prevent the patient's lung from being removed, and that's exciting. Dr. Anthony Atala has pioneered the use of stem cells in America to create human organs. He's already tested a working bladder and sees other possibilities. Any type of tubularized organ in the body will be able to benefit from these technologies, such as blood vessels, the esophagus, many different types that will benefit. It's still experimental, but the beauty of this technique is that by using a patient's own cells, you don't need drugs to prevent rejection. Katie? It is really amazing stuff. John LaPook, John, thank you.